Hi kids, welcome to Books for Beginners Day. My name is Judy Millsap and I'm going to share with you one of my favorite stories called Hyena Ballerina. So listen closely to the story. I'll have a couple questions for you at the end and then I also have a surprise for you that I want to share with you. So our book is called Hyena Ballerina. So what's a hyena? Do you know? Yeah, it's an animal. And if you're familiar with the Lion, Lion King movie, you probably saw some hyenas running around in that movie. They live on the plains in Africa, in the Middle East, and in India. We don't have any running around here. So for us, we would have to go to the zoo to see a hyena. And then a ballerina. What does the ballerina do? Yeah, ballerina dances. They spin, they twirl, and they jump. So let's get into our story. Ten students are wanted at Swan's Ballet School. What a chance, cries Hyena. To dance will be cool. So here she is. She's at the end of the line and she's wanting to be one of the ten that gets into the school. I think that I'm ready to prove I can move in my frilly silk tutu and pink satin shoes, said Hyena. Swan brings them together. Let's see what you've got, said Swan. Hyena springs forward and spins on the spot. Right there she is. She loves to dance. She stands high on tiptoe, leans back on a chair, twirls lightly in circles, and floats through the air. Look at that jump. I can prance like a princess or glide like a fairy, thought Hyena, ballerina. Swan soon loses interest. Too spotty and hairy, said Swan. Hyena feels weepy. Weepy means sad. She's going to cry. She sticks out her chin. And then she thought, I can't give up dancing. I'll try one more spin said Hyena, and she was out on the sidewalk there. She didn't give up. What luck, shouts Duck. You're just what I need. You must join my stage show. You're bound to succeed. And it says Pooch's Playhouse, Top Dogs, Top Class. All this week, Duck's All-Star Talent Show. Hmm, so it sounds like Hyena has a job. My axe can jump hurdles or balance a ball. But ballet like that will attract one and all, explained Duck. I'm spotted and furry. You sure you don't mind? asked Hyena. Not a bit, don't you worry. You'll fit in just fine, answered Duck. As soon as they see her, the crowds howl, Bravo, bravo, which means very good. Hyena Ballerina is the star of the show. Wow, look at her. She's dancing. She's excited. Woo. And that's the end of our book. She's the star of the show. Wow, what a story. Well, what can we learn from Hyena Ballerina? What can we learn? Hyena Ballerina had a dream, didn't she? She had a dream to dance. And when Swan did not like her dancing, what happened? Hmm, 
She did, did she give up? No, she didn't. She kept dancing. She loved to dance so much. And she knew she was good. And Duck saw how good she was. And Duck helped her dream come true. So what we can learn to do from Hyena Ballerina is to do what we love and believe in ourselves and our skills because we are all talented, each of us, talented in our own way. And I hope your dream comes true. I hope whatever you choose to do, like Hyena kept dancing, I hope whatever you choose to do, that your dream comes true, just like Hyenas did. Now, remember I said I had a surprise for you? Well, the surprise is that you get to take a copy of this book home with you today, and your name is on the front of your book, and your teacher will pass them out pretty soon. And it is a gift to you from the Jasper County HCE Ladies. HCE stands for Home and Community Education. And it's a gift from us on Books for Beginners Day. So enjoy your book and have an awesome day. And remember to believe in yourself. Bye-bye.